After the Starship flight was delayed for questionable reasons, the FAA has given SpaceX a new hurdle to propose penalties for its Falcon systems. The development prompted a swift and forceful response from Elon Musk, potentially leading to a significant legal battle. Despite these challenges, SpaceX continues to achieve incredible accomplishments, most recently the successful Falcon 9 mission. We dive into the details in today's episode from the NR Studio. The relationship between SpaceX and the FAA has reached an all-time low. The FAA recently delayed the Starship 5 flight until November, causing frustration among SpaceX, congressional officials, and the broader aerospace industry. But the FAA isn't stopping there. In its latest update, the agency has now turned its attention to SpaceX's Falcon Systems, proposing significant penalties. On the FAA's website, the agency says the Federal Aviation Administration, FA, is proposing 633,009 civil penalty against the Space Exploration Technology Company, SpaceX for short, for allegedly failing to meet its licensing requirements during two launches in 2023 in accordance with civil penalty guidelines set by law. Emphasizing the decision, FAA Chief Counsel Mark Nichols added, Safety drives everything we do at the FAA, including our legal responsibility to oversee the safety of existing commercial space transportation licensees. The company's failure to comply with safety requirements will have consequences. The FAA's notice breaks down the penalty into two main parts. The first is $350,000 for two missions, with $175,000 for each alleged violation. The first violation occurred during a mission in May 2023. According to the FAA, SpaceX has filed a request to revise its communications plan regarding its launch authorization from the Cape Canaveral Space Station in Florida. The proposed revisions include adding a new launch control room to Hangar X and eliminating the T2 hour preparation study from its procedures. The second violation in June 2023 occurred during the launch of PSN Satria. The FAA claims that SpaceX used an unapproved launch control room for the PSN Satria mission and failed to complete the required T minus two hour survey. The second proposed fine is $283,009. As for SpaceX's use of an unapproved rocket farm, the FAA explained that in July 2023, SpaceX filed a request to review its blast site plan in relation to a launch permit from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The proposed revisions reflected a newly constructed rocket booster farm. On July 28, 2023, SpaceX used an unapproved rocket launch for the EcoStar 24 mission slash Jupiter. In conclusion, the FAA said SpaceX had 30 days to respond to the FAA after receiving the agency's enforcement letter. This development has drawn strong reactions from SpaceX, especially from its CEO, Elon Musk himself. Musk expressed his disappointment, saying, I believe discovery will show the FAA's behavior is inappropriate and politically motivated. He also emphasized the underlying problem by responding to a post by Marcus House, who said that the underlying problem is that humanity will be confined to Earth forever unless radical reform of the FAA is made. Musk didn't stop there, noting that the FAA has been a significant obstacle to the aerospace industry saying that NASA relies on SPACEX for all astronaut transportation to and from the space station. Yet somehow, FAA executives think they know better. Musk's comments are based on solid fundamentals. SpaceX is currently NASA's primary partner for transporting crew and cargo to the International Space Station. Without SpaceX's involvement, the U.S. could still rely on Russia to maintain its spaceflight operations. Yet despite this critical role, the FAA seems determined to impose restrictions on SPACEX without appreciating the company's contributions to the space industry. Recent criticism of the FAM has centered around claims that SpaceX is moving forward with several milestones before receiving formal approval from the agency. This suggests the FAA is slow in its approval process, something that has also been criticized by congressional officials recently. SpaceX's success has been based on rapid innovation and frequent launches. Reusability in particular has been key to its success, a concept that has eluded many other companies. After the recent Galileo mission, 
SpaceX tweeted that rapid and reliable reusability is critical to enabling multiplanetary life. Military missions are an opportunity to learn and inform future missions. At this point, FAA regulations appear to be the biggest obstacle to achieving SpaceX's goals. The Starship launch has been delayed until November, and for the Falcon 9, despite having no issues with its mission's success, the FAA has imposed additional restrictions. In just two months, in July and August, problems with the second stage and landing prompted the FAA to request a halt to launches for evaluation. And given the proposed penalties, many consider them unfair, especially compared to other companies like Boeing. Musk highlighted this disparity and surprisingly said that there was no Starliner found for Boeing. The FAA's space division has been slamming SpaceX for its stupidity in not compromising safety while giving Boeing a free pass even after NASA concluded its spacecraft was not safe enough to return astronauts. There needs to be a resignation from the FAA leadership. Indeed, when Boeing's Starliner had problems during its mission to the ISS, the FAA sat back and watched the problem unfold. It is hoped that if NASA grants Starliner a crewed launch permit, the FAA will not raise any objections. The support for Boeing, a longtime government contractor, stands in stark contrast to the scrutiny SpaceX has faced. Perhaps in a bold move to overcome these regulatory hurdles, Musk recently announced that SpaceX will file a lawsuit against the FAA for violating regulations. While this lawsuit may not be the action SpaceX requested, Musk noted, our legal battles are an abuse of the system. The continued backlash may have prompted the company to take this drastic step. The next few months could see a major legal battle between SpaceX and the FAA, a battle between a private development company and regulators that appears to be stalling progress. It remains to be seen whether SpaceX will be successful in this process, especially since the FAA has the support of many government agencies. What do you think of the FAA's actions and SpaceX's response? Is it time for regulatory reform in the aerospace industry? If you agree, leave a yes in the comments section and don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible journey to the stars. Despite the challenges, SpaceX continues to set new records with the Falcon 9, the latest being the Galileo mission. On September 17th at 6.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Falcon 9 launched two spacecraft for Europe's Galileo navigation system from Space Launch Complex 40. By the way, it's located in Florida. After a successful liftoff, the Falcon 9's first stage returned to Earth, landing on the SpaceX shuttle only to read instructions about 8.5 minutes after liftoff. Meanwhile, the rocket's upper stage carried two Galileo satellites to medium Earth orbit with a planned deployment about 3.5 hours after launch, a demand that only the Raptor 3 could possibly meet. If that's not enough to convince you, let's look at another important aspect, total thrust. In his April presentation, Musk noted that the Super Heavy booster would have a thrust of 8,240 tons and Starship adds another 1,600 tons. This is well beyond the limitations of the Raptor 2. With these new thrust parameters, Starship FIV-2 is expected to reach a maximum thrust of 9,240 tons or 20.4 million pounds, surpassing any rocket currently in the industry. I hope to see this in action in the near future. However, the Raptor 3 could also serve as an intermediate step toward a more powerful engine. Musk hinted that a future version of the Raptor could reach a thrust of 330 tons, potentially pushing the Super Heavy Shuttle's thrust to over 10,000 tons, or more than 24 million pounds. This isn't just a concept, it's an integral part of the Florida Space Shuttle or Starbase Shuttle plan. These advances will not only surpass all missiles in existence today, but also all missiles that have existed in the past or are planned for the near future. Most importantly, Raptor 3 is poised to usher in a new era for SpaceX. It is time to redefine the traditional concept of weapons and motors. Imagine a machine that is lighter, more powerful, simpler, faster to manufacture, cheaper, and more reliable. What could be better than this? Well, it is hard to predict how many more versions of Starship or Raptor will be released. For now, let us welcome the revolutionary moment that Raptor 3 will bring in the near future. Are you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is V2, the next generation spacecraft.
After going through a rigorous assembly process, this revolutionary spacecraft is nearly complete and ready to take the next step that is sure to shake up the aerospace industry. The Galileo system, the European equivalent of America's GPS, operates at an altitude of 14,430 miles, 23,222 kilometers. The mission marks several important moments for SpaceX. As SpaceX notes in its mission description, this is the 22nd first stage booster flight supporting the mission, referring to Booster B-1067. After experiencing issues with Booster B-1062, SpaceX upgraded the system, pushing the limits of the rocket's reusability. This is SpaceX's 90th mission this year, bringing the company closer to its previous record of 91 Falcon 9 flights achieved last year. It's also a significant step towards SpaceX's ambitious goal of completing 148 missions in a single year. This launch is also the 375th Falcon 9 mission overall, a significant achievement. A unique aspect of this mission is its high orbit, which makes the task even more remarkable. During the previous Galileo mission earlier this year, SpaceX opted not to recover its booster due to higher payload performance requirements in orbit. However, for this flight, the propellant was successfully obtained. As SpaceX explained, during the Galileo L-12 mission earlier this year, the Falcon 9 booster decided to provide the extra performance needed to deliver the payload to orbit. Data from this mission informed subtle design and operational changes, including mass reduction trajectory adjustments that allowed us to safely recover and reuse this booster. The company added that the Falcon 9 is ready to carry Galileo L-13 safely to orbit and return to the drone ship as soon as it is ready in the Atlantic Ocean. They recognize that this recovery effort will be challenging due to the higher heat and dynamic pressures on the booster during re-entry. Despite the difficult conditions, the landing is considered an important test, providing valuable data for future vehicle designs.